I want to thank you for your time and encourage you to pray for your family in Job 1. 7. The Bible says that the Lord asked Satan, Where have you come from? And that Satan replied, By wandering throughout the earth and going back and forth on it. 1 Peter 5. 8 tells us what happened as a result of this. The devil is your greatest enemy and you should be on the lookout for him. He prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. In my opinion, the devil is pursuing homes and wants to ruin families, especially Christian families. The devil is against godly homes that are bound together by love of Jesus Christ. He does not want households in which wives respect and revere their husbands, just as Christ loves the church. And he most definitely does not want households in which kids obey their parents. Thus, in light of the foregoing, we must turn to Jesus Christ. The Bible states in Acts 16, 31 that if you believe in the Lord Jesus, both you and your household will be saved. For this reason, we should all be praying, not only for our own salvation, but also for the salvation of our households. We should say in our prayers, Lord, remember my family, remember my children, because only Jesus Christ can save us. Therefore, we should turn to him, Ought to give up and submit the definition of a household is those who live under one roof. Make up a family. In Acts 16, 31, the Bible states that if you believe in the Lord Jesus, you and your household, that is, your family, will be saved. This is because a household should be a cohesive unit. When you have faith in the Old Testament, Lord Jesus Christ in essence, Joshua said, My family and I have decided to serve the Lord. Now, what will your household stand for? Who will your family stand to serve? Joshua declared, As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I motivate you to start praying and entrusting your family to God. Consider these. I find that my personal prayer points are that God will always be present in my home, that there will be unity among all who live here, that there will be a peaceful spirit in the home, that there will be a sweet spirit of forgiveness in the name of Jesus, that the Bible will be the house's governing authority, and that the name of Jesus Christ will always be above all other names. Thus, I implore you to pray for your family as you listen. Pray for your house so that it may be a place where love reigns. God's presence is felt when the Lord is present. May the blood of Jesus Christ cover the walls of our homes, protecting us from evil, plague, and pestilence. And most importantly, may our homes be places where the name of Jesus Christ is revered and feared. Above all else, O oh Lord, and in conjunction with everyone currently listening, we pray for our homes, our families, our children, and everything else. Our Union Shield U.S. Lord, Battle for us and get involved in all of our affairs. King Jesus, we ask the Lord to send the Holy Spirit into our homes and effect a transformation in our hearts and minds. Lord Jesus, reveal yourself to us and allow us to see your hand at work in our families wherever there is strife, bringing peace, order, and harmony. Your word in Ephesians 4, 31 states, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, 
and slander be put away from you along with all malice. If there is any anger simmering in our homes or any unforgiveness. Father, please let your living waters flow over our lives and bring a sweet spirit of unity and togetherness. Father, Mother, Son, and all family members should open their hearts to you. Help us, Lord, to put these things away. Help us to be a family that is united to obey your word. Daughter, you rejuvenate us and open our hearts. Quicken our spirits so that we may long and chase after you as a family. Flood our hearts with the pure love of God. We pray, Lord, that no one in our families would be lukewarm. Instead, may we individually and as a group be on fire for you, Lord, convicting our hearts and drawing us to repentance. We pray that you will touch the hearts of all children acting in rebellion that you will crush any spirit that is not from you, and that all husbands will be obedient to your word and love their wives as Christ loved the church. We pray that every wife who is listening will respect her husband and respect their spouse in accordance with God's word, as agreed upon by all those in attendance. The only Lord and ruler in this home is Jesus Christ. We pray and declare that we will serve the Lord and that we will rebuke any idol that tries to win our affection or our attention over you, King Jesus. May we, as a family, resist being indoctrinated by the many teachings of this world and instead hold fast to the biblical definition of what a godly family is. Grant us the ability to meditate on and dwell on your word. Phrase as a household we can only live in harmony and walk in agreement because of you. Father, therefore, I pray that you will bring harmony and love into our homes and families. Your word in Psalm 133, 1 describes how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Lord. Please assist us to be careful in creating an environment of praise and worship rather than allowing unpleasant spirits, words, or deeds to drive your presence away. May the atmosphere in our homes be agreeable to you. Daily worship encourages us to be vigilant in fostering a spirit of gratitude every day. Day. Be honored and blessed. Words cannot explain how grateful we are for your goodness, your love, and your mercy. Lord, thank you for hearing our hearts cry in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. According to your word, Master, you have selected us and called us to live lives that respect you and serve you. You have also told us to separate ourselves from the world. Father, please hear our prayer today. We ask that you grant us the grace and strength to avoid conforming to this world and becoming entangled in its shallow values and practices. God, we thank you for making us your own. We cling to your word in 1 Peter 2, 9 which states, But you are not like that. For you are a chosen people, you are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. May this world, but also help us, Lord, to be transformed, changed, and renewed in our minds. Because God brought you out of the darkness and into his amazing light, you can now demonstrate to others his goodness. Thank you, God, for being our Father and for bearing our burdens. God, bearer, without you, where would we be? We thank you, God, 
for even in your majesty and righteousness. You continue to show us concern and extend us forgiveness. Time and again, despite our repeated failures, God, we are grateful for your mercy. We ask that the Holy Spirit grant us understanding. Believe that if we are not in Christ, we can never win this life. Matthew 6, 24 states that you cannot serve God with material goods because you can only serve one master. Either you will love the one and detest the other, or you will be dedicated to the one and despise the other. We vow that you alone are our one and only, regardless of fame, prestige, or anything else that is more important than the Lord. We choose to stand by you, Father, since you are the only one who can lead us. No one can serve two masters at once because light and darkness cannot coexist. We humbly ask that the Holy Spirit work in our hearts and minds as we follow the light of Christ. This will enable us to have a commitment that says, Not my will, Lord, but your will is all important. Truly, Father, it's not about my wants. It's about my feelings. It's all about you, Lord Jesus. May the Holy Spirit grant us a heart that is so devoted to the Lord that it is willing to crucify the flesh with its own desires and passions. Assist us in bearing our burdens. I thank you for hearing my prayer. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray. And we give you thanks. Amen and Amen. Lord Jesus, your word in Matthew 5. 6 states that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness because they will be filled in you. Father, I will be satisfied, and you, King Jesus, will nourish me with your goodness. I'm grateful. Strange. Amen.